I'm Anil Kumar and here are a few questions which you should look into before going for your test on trigonometry. It is on equivalent trigonometric ratios. Question is, express tan of minus 32 pi divided by 7 as a function of the related acute angle and the correlated acute angle. Mind it, you have to write this ratio tan minus 32 pi over 7 as a function of related acute angle and the correlated acute angle. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now that is how we do it. So it's just sketch and then what do we need? We need tan of minus 32 pi. Minus indicates that you are moving clockwise direction. 32 pi means over 7 so pi by 7 so this pi is divided into 7 portions so one round will give you 7 and then 14 and then 21 and then 28 you have to go 32 32 means 4 more now if this pi is divided into 7 portions then it is kind of 3 and a half here so 4 more will put you in this quadrant so that is where you should be that means the terminal arm is in quadrant 3. Okay? That is minus 32 pi by 7. Now since you are in quadrant 3, tan should be positive, right? You know the rule. All are positive in quadrant 1, sine in 2, tan in 3, and cosine in 4. So, so we are expecting a positive answer to start with. Okay. Now, if this is 32 pi by 7, then what is the related acute angle? So let me write down the acute angle now. So we say beta should be equals to, this is 4, 3 more to go. So 7 pi, I mean 3 pi by 7, right? 3 pi by 7 becomes my acute angle. Now it is simpler for us to write this trigonometric ratio as a equivalent related angle acute angle ratio and correlated acute angle. So let's first write down what we need. So we need tan of minus 32 pi by 7. If I say a related acute angle, that means in terms of beta, right? So that is the related acute angle. Always we can consider this to be in quadrant 1 and this angle alpha, the related angle will be 3 pi by 7. Is it okay? So I can write this as tan of, I mean, tan of 3 pi by 7, correct? That will give us positive answer because this is positive, right? Remember that, quadrant 3. So tan of 3 pi by 7 gives us the value as a related acute angle. This is in terms of related acute angle, right? Now, Correlated acute angle. Correlated means you should be writing in terms of cotangent, right? That is what it is. Now, if I have to write in terms of cotangent, I'm looking at this angle, right? Now, if what, how much is this angle? Pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 7. That is the correlated angle. So, I could write this as cotangent of pi by 2 minus 3 pi by 7. So that is in terms of correlated acute angle. You get the point? Now let's do our mass. How much is this angle? So it should be cotangent of 7 minus 6, right? So that is pi by 14. So cotangent pi by 14 will be your answer as a correlated acute angle. I hope that helps you to understand how we can write any trigonometric ratio as an equivalent ratio in terms of related acute angle or correlated acute angle. I hope that helps. Thank you.